All right, today on the Eclectic Handyman, we're going to be replacing the ballast on this old halogen light. It's got a slight flicker to it. Um, sometimes the lights won't turn on if the bulb is good. And all that we need to do is do a little research and find what the replacement ballast is. I got this off of Amazon. And just one quick uh, piece of advice is that if they're just a few dollars a piece, make sure you look at the reviews because I did get a cheaper one once that was... Uh, dead on arrival. So this was a keystone. This is the particular replacement. It's a really easy fix, probably take about 10 minutes. So let's get started. All right, the first step we want to do is make sure that we turn off the correct circuit breaker for the light uh, that we'll be working on since we are changing out the ballast and the wiring. So this is a piece of cake. Make sure you get it uh, turned off and then we'll move and proceed back to the light. All right, the first thing to do, whatever kind of lamp you have, it could be a garage lamp or a, a ceiling uh, lamp fixture like this. This is what we're going to be replacing right here. So we need to take out, just set that to the side. We need to take out in this particular case, these halogen bulbs. And they just pull out like this. And it's pretty simple. Might note orientation of where those wires were. And uh, put these to the side. Then all we're going to have to do is in this particular fixture, fixture, they're all going to be a little different. We just need to remove the bolts so that we can get to the wires above. This box will come out. This is actually much older. Uh, this is the original one. That's probably 30 years old. And we'll go ahead and replace it with the new one. All right. So to remove this particular lamp, all we really need to do is take these mounting screws. There's one on each side and loosen them. We'll be able to remove the ballast when this is sitting down. So all that I need to do is just twist this and down it comes. And now we've got access to the wires. Now we'll just go ahead and remove these wires and then we can put this down on a table and remove the ballast. All right, at this point what I've done is I re I've only loosened the bolt on this side and removed the one on this side. So now I can actually take the entire old ballast out. Just got to kind of unwind it and then you'll have to take the wires out of the hole as well every fixture is going to be a little bit different but the process overall is the same this one is about three times as heavy as well this old one and all I did was I took that old catalog part number I googled it and found the replacement again for this keystone one so what I need to do is go ahead and uh, put this through in the exact same manner. We need to put the the power and the ground black and white wires back down through that same hole. We'll use the same mounting locations as you can see on both sides. We'll get that line back up and then we'll be able to reinstall it and be done. Okay, the next step is going to be to go ahead and use those two mounting screws to hold this up or you can have someone else hold the light fixture for you because we need to uh, reattach the uh, both the ground and the lead power wire, uh, black to black, white to white in this particular case, those two wires. And we'll use the original uh, connectors to twist them together uh, that came with it. And then we'll reinstall this lamp. So pretty simple, let's check it out. All right, so what I've done is temporarily zip strapped it up here because I don't have somebody else to hold this for me. So it's just temporary. And then I just need to twist, again, just two wires is pretty simple. So we'll use a connector here and twist to make sure we got the white connected. And then we'll do the black to black. And I just went ahead and opted for new connectors because the old ones were a little bit ratty. Yeah, it was on nice and tight. Make sure they're in good shape. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the temporary strap that I used. And then I'm going to push everything back up into the box up here. Making sure that everything is nice and organized. Making sure that the wires aren't touching anything. And then I can go ahead and reinstall at this point. Make sure all the wires are out of the way and tucked up there. And got to line up the two screws, the mounting screws. That's what's nice about this one. Once they pop in, you give it a little bit of a twist. 
and there we go. So at this point, I've got those two screws. I'll just tighten them back down. We will put our light bulbs back in, reinstall, turn it on, turn the power back on, and check it out. All right, so we've got the new ballast in place. We've reinstalled the light bulbs, plugged in the harnesses, and went to the circuit breaker and turned back the power. So now it's time to turn on the lights. And there we have it. We've got a brand new replaced ballast, a refreshed halogen lamp here. And that only took us about 30 minutes. And I got that part off of Amazon for about $15. So hope this helped. And we will see you next time on the Eclectic Handyman.